I think we're going to live in a world where there are going to be hundreds of millions of billions of different AI agents, eventually probably more AI agents than there are people in the world. For the very first time, this is going to be an in industry of skills. And you capture that phrase, you call it agents. The agentic experiences that we expect this technology to eventually enable, I think will be quite impactful. Business applications exist. That's probably where they'll all collapse, right, in the agent era. By 2030, AI agents could automate up to 70% of traditional office tasks. This isn't just a bold claim. It's a data-driven forecast from two of the world's most trusted institutions, McKinsey and & Company and Goldman Sachs. According to them, AI could add up to a staggering $7 trillion to the global economy. Means that the future's best employee in any company won't need sleep, salary, or benefits. And still, it will outperform and outwork any human employee. Task Automation by AI Agents Look at this chart. This explains how AI agents can work together in a centralized orchestration model, similar to how a human manager delegates tasks to his team in an office. At the top will be the master AI agent, which acts as the coordinator, breaking a large task into smaller pieces and assigning them to worker AI agents. Each worker AI agent is responsible for completing a specific part of the task by selecting the right tools. For example, one worker AI agent will handle data analysis, gathering and processing information from multiple sources. Another worker AI agent will focus on content creation, visuals, or marketing materials using tools like Sora, GPT, and Claude. Yet another could manage task scheduling, ensuring that all components of the project are aligned and deadlines are met seamlessly. In 2025, the master is still a human overseeing these processes. However, the future possibilities with AI masters and AI worker agents will open a whole new world where the master AI itself will take full control. I think we're gonna live in a world where there are gonna be hundreds of millions of billions of different AI agents eventually probably more AI agents than there are people in the world. A lot of what we're focused on is giving every creator and every small business um, the ability to create AI agents for themselves, making it so that every person on our platforms can create their own AI agents that they want to interact with. And if you think about it, these are just huge spaces, right? So there are hundreds of millions of small businesses in the world. And one of the things that I think is really important is basically making it so with a relatively small amount of work, a business can basically, a few taps, stand up an AI agent for themselves that can do customer support, sales, communicate with all their people, uh, all their customers. I think that every business in the future, just like they have an email address and a website and a social media presence today, I think every business is going to have an AI agent that their customers can talk to in the future. The big question is, Will humans still be needed in a world where AI agents can handle almost everything? Future of Human Workers Dr. Michio Kaku, a renowned physicist and futurist, believes that no matter how advanced AI becomes, three types of jobs will always require humans. Well, there are three kinds of jobs that robots have a hard time replacing. The first is blue-collar jobs that are non-repetitive. Robots cannot hammer a nail, they cannot pick up garbage, they cannot fix a toilet. Robots are very, very bad at non-repetitive blue-collar work. Second, emotional jobs, jobs involving rapport with a human being, being a professor, being a teacher, uh, being a counselor, being a, uh, a therapist, all that cannot be replaced by a robot. Third category is imagination. Mm -hmm. People that are innovative, that are leaders of society, that strategize, that dream about the future, those jobs cannot be replaced. So as long as you fit into one of these three categories, chances are you'll have a job for a long time. Meanwhile, Reid Hoffman, billionaire investor and co-founder of LinkedIn, offers a more nuanced view. Speaking to CNN, Hoffman explained that while AI will inevitably disrupt some jobs, the shift won't happen overnight. Years, not decades, 
but years, not months, Hoffman said, referring to the timing of AI displacing humans. I believe in three to five years, we'll all have kind of an agent co-pilot that's helping us with anything. He also emphasized that this isn't about AI fully replacing humans, but transforming jobs into roles where humans work alongside AI. Human jobs will be replaced, but replaced by other humans using AI, he explained. The whole idea is to be the human who learns to use AI, to leverage it, and to make things happen. So, learn to use AI because it's not AI versus humans. It's AI plus humans. If you want to learn how to create AI agents, subscribe to this channel. We share the latest AI updates before they go mainstream. Agents will replace all software. The question of whether AI agents will replace software as a service is becoming a hot topic, especially after Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella shared some interesting thoughts on it. The notion that business applications exist that's probably where they'll all collapse, right, in the agent era. Because if you think about it, right, they are essentially CRUD databases with a bunch of business logic. The business logic is all going to these agents. And these agents are going to be multi-repo CRUD, right? So they're not going to discriminate between uh, what the back end is. They're going to update multiple databases and all the logic will be in uh, the AI tier, so to speak. Um, and once the AI tier becomes the place where all the logic is, then people will start replacing the back end. He gave an example of how tools like Excel could become much smarter with AI is when you have Excel, like this, by the way, it would be fun for you guys, right? Which is you should just bring up Excel, bring up Copilot and start playing with it because it's no longer like, oh, you know, it is like having a data analyst. Uh, and so it's no longer just making sense of the numbers that you have, it will do the plan for you, right? It will literally like how GitHub Copilot Workspace creates the plan and then it executes the plan. It, this is like a data analyst who is using Excel as a sort of row column visualization to do analysis scratch pad. So it's kind of tools you. So the co-pilot is using Excel as a tool with all of its action space because it can generate and it has Python interpreter. That is in fact a great way to reconceptualize Excel. And at some point you could say, hey, I'll generate all of Excel. Uh, and that is also true. After all, there's a code interpreter, right? So therefore you can generate anything. Instead of just doing calculations, an AI could help analyze data and suggest ways to improve your work. Well, this is just the beginning of AI's transformation. In fact, we've explored this further in our next video, where we discuss the three scary stages of AI and that what will happen after AI agents. Watch this video on Uscreen.